Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Grade 1. We're doing our Quran lesson and our new sign is a kasra. But remember, we are going to concentrate on the fatha and kasra to see how to implement it and to use it on our letters. Now, if you look at our Quran sabak, yesterday the ones that are highlighted with yellow were used in explaining the kasra and the fatha. So we did the letter ta, ba, ha, jim, kho, and alif. And in the next page, we used the letter tha. Now, the letters that are highlighted in green are going to be done today. And those letters are dal, dal, za, and raw. We'll do it more in detail, but let's do a quick recap. What is a fatha? A fatha has an a uh sound. Where does it come? A fatha comes on top of a letter. What is a kasra? A kasra has an i uh sound. Where does it come? Kasra comes at the bottom of a letter. Now let's go to our letter that we'll be discussing, and that is dal. Now, on the right-hand side, in the block at the bottom, the dal has a fatha. So, you will have a sound and it will have an a uh sound. It will no more be read as dal, but d. Next to it is dal with a kasra. Kas now, it will have a i e sound. So, it will no more be read as dal, but d. Let's go to our next letter. Our other letter is dal. Remember, not zal, but dal. You take the tip of your tongue and place it on the two front teeth on top. You know, the two big bugs, bunny teeth. You place the tip of your tongue, touch the tip of your tongue. Now, place it on the tip of the two front big teeth and say dal. Now, let's see, there's a fatha on the letter dal, so we have to make a, a sound. It will be read as the. What? The. Let's go to the next one. The dal has a kasra. What sound supposed to hear? An i e sound. So, let's read it with an i e sound. The. The. Right, let's read this letter again. Dal. The. The. Let's go to our another a new letter. Raw. The raw sounds like you are eating raw vegetables. Raw. Now we go, or even the lion is roaring. So raw. Then we go to the letter at the bottom. The raw has a fat ha. Now the raw will have an a uh sound. So let's read it with an a uh sound. Raw. Remember, you do not read it with an Empty sound, not r, a little full mouth, r, r. Then we go to the next one. It's a r with a kasra, and it will have what sound? What sound? An i sound. So let's make it with an i i sound, r, r. Right. Let's do the letter again. R, r, r. Let's go to our next letter. And that's a za. You must hear the buzzing sound of a z. Za. Now the fatha is on the za. Let's make an a uh sound. Z. What? Z. Right, let's go to the next one. It has a kasra. It's supposed to have an e sound. So let's read it with an e sound. Z. Z. So let's read this letter again. Z. Za. With a z. Za. With a fatha, z. With a kasra, z. Right, that's our subak for today. I want you to concentrate very well on these few letters. And every day we will be doing few letters from, the, from page 44 and 43. We'll choose few letters and we'll do it from there. And then after we've done all the letters, then we'll read the entire page of 43 and 44 together. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.